Hey, are you starting a car detailing business and you're just not quite sure what to charge? Well, in this video, I'm gonna cover uh, my take on pricing your services and how you can go about pricing your services. So, let's get straight into it. So, for the most part, there are gonna be two types of systems you can price, as far as uh, how I know, is uh, an hourly rate and a flat rate. So, uh, let's say, uh, we'll use an example of a 2004 Subaru WRX um, and they want a wash and wax. So, uh, you can either go with hourly or flat rate like I mentioned. So for hourly, let's just say you're gonna charge $25 an hour, right? And again, the, the, the hourly price that you charge is gonna be dependent on the type of quality you put out, the market that you're in, what the market will stand, what, you know, what's your take on your business in terms of how you wanna take your business if you wanna be a high-end detailer and just work on expensive, expensive cars or if you just wanna do you know, nothing but paint correction and charge as much as you can or if you wanna do volume type work, that's all gonna be dependent on how much you're gonna charge per hour or how much you wanna make per hour at least. But for this example, let's just say you wanna make $25 an hour uh, on, a, on a wash and wax and it's a 2004 Subaru WX and you're gonna guesstimate or you already know that it's gonna take you four hours to complete that job. So. Uh, obviously, let's do the basic math. And uh, 25 times 4 is $100. So you make $100 on the wash and wax uh, on an hourly rate. But the problem is when you talk to a customer and you say, okay, well, we charge on an hourly basis. Uh, this car is going to take four hours to complete and it's going to cost you $100. Right. So you get to the, detail, to, to the job site or if the customer comes to you, uh, you know, to come to you and uh, you see that it's going to take you five, six hours to complete. Well, now you can't. You know, once you're on location, uh, you can't charge more uh, from what you quoted because that's what you guys didn't agree on. You agreed on 400, uh, 100 for four hours, and that's that. So you to arrive there and be like, oh, well, you know what? It's gonna take six hours, and I have to charge you $150. Uh, big turnoff. Customers will definitely not like that. Um, so you shouldn't do that if you even fall into this kind of a uh, uh, kind of mistake. So you should just eat that up because you wouldn't want to uh, dissatisfy, dissatisfy a customer like that. So obviously the problem is um, when you, uh, if it goes over what you uh, quoted, then clearly your hourly rate is going to go down. So right here you're making $25 an hour for four hours work. Um, but once you pass over to the next hour, you're now decreasing your hourly rate. So now you can go over to, uh, for, for, uh, for four hours, five hours, six hours, you can be, you know, let's say you go on for seven hours, you can be uh significantly decreasing your hourly rate to about twenty dollars an hour eighteen dollars an hour fifteen dollars an hour uh the more you keep on working and uh, clearly you want to deliver great results or want to deliver on what you agreed on and you're just gonna have to eat up those hours so um in the beginning phases this is a good method to go from uh just so you can figure out how long it actually takes you to complete certain details on certain cars uh when i first started i didn't know how long a you know a full suv would take me on the inside or outside i didn't know how long a uh, coupe car would take me on the inside and outside um so this is a great method. Uh, so when you are starting off and you are doing your first dozen or so cars, make sure you keep track of how long it's taking you to get to the customer's uh, location or uh, how long it takes you to set up, how long it takes you to clean X, uh, how long it takes you to clean the seat, steering wheel, dashboard, door panels, so on and so forth. That way you can kind of keep a time chart and say, okay, well this customer is a, you know, a sedan. I've done five sedans and it generally takes me uh, four to five hours. So I know I should need a quote four to five hours. Um, so the way I do it now, I used to do hourly, as I said, uh, but now I've gone to do a uh, flat rate. Let me switch on up here. And uh, the reason I do flat rate is for one, personally, I already know how long it's going to take me to complete a job. I already know that over the phone call, I can get the exact information I need. So I, when I absolutely, when I get there, there's absolutely no mistakes or no drawbacks on the price that I quoted them. Again, it's going back to this video that I have about uh, uh, answering and pre-qualifying pre a, a potential customer. Is you ask specific questions so you know exactly what to uh, extract from them. So you know uh, the exact image of the car in terms of its condition. So, uh, you know, I personally, going back to the hourly rate, um, it's hard to give an exact quote or at least a price range because you don't want to over or under uh, quote it. So when you actually get there, you don't want to say, oh, what's that going to take six hours and I quoted four. Um, and vice versa, if you only take two hours and you quoted four hours, uh, the customer is going to be like, well, you did something that's going to take four hours and you charge the hourly rate and I still have to pay full price, but you only worked on it for two hours. So with the flat rate, you kind of avoid that, um, that drawback. Again, but there's pros and cons for both. Uh, for me personally, because I know how long I take on each car and the type of service I'm gonna offer, I have no problem going with a flat rate uh, pricing. So again, going back to the 04 WRX, um, if the, uh, 
if the customer wants to wash and wax, I'll say, okay, uh, for that type of car, it's gonna take anywhere between uh, two to four hours. I give myself cushion because uh, for whatever reason, what if I do actually get there and there's some type of drawback that I couldn't discover. But for the most part, I know it, it'll take anywhere between two to four hours. Um, and it's gonna cost you, you know, a hundred bucks. Uh, is that within your budget? Okay, good, let's, let's uh, schedule you in. So I arrive to the detail, uh, to the customer's location. I do offer mobile detailing services. Um, so I get to the customer's location and then I can, you know, I finish it in two hours. So now instead of uh, having, you know, getting stuck in the actual just $25 an hour as we would have at an hourly rate, I can now up my, my hourly rate to $50 an hour um, and complete the job and all is well. But of course, there's a drawback to that if you go over your, uh, your, your, you know, if you keep on going uh, further and further into the detail and it takes you longer, obviously your hourly, uh, your hourly rate is going to decrease um, because you're still basing the flat rate off an of hourly gauge. You, like, you still want to make between you know, $25 to $35 an hour, uh, but you're just giving yourself a little bit more cushion. So if I can finish, finish this, uh, the detail in two hours, well, I'll make $50 an hour now. But obviously, if I keep on going down and if I complete it in three hours, well, I'm going to make $33 an hour now. And if I keep on going down, I'm back at $25 an hour. But again, me personally, I know exactly what to ask before I get to the, to the, to the, uh, to the customer's location. I know exactly, I, uh, I know the exact process I'm going to take to complete a car. So there's absolutely no, uh, no hesitation on what steps I need to take next. So there's no thinking of me to, okay, why well, just clean the wheels? So I got the tires and I got to start on the roof. And then, no, it's just and the, the direct, checklist that I pretty much go through to just knock out a car super quick and I'm really fast so I don't spend time uh, being cute with a brush or towel. Uh, I, I work and hit them pretty hard so uh, this gives you a lot more cushion uh, and, and it allows you to make more money um, but again, if you're in the beginning phases and you're not too sure of the of how long it's going to take you, uh, just like a car dealerships when you first, well, for mechanics when you're first hired on, you're on the fl uh, hourly rate just to kind of get the gist of things. And then once you kind of know what you're doing and you know the systems and it's out, they'll switch you over to a flat rate. And then you can just start working, uh, start working and potentially making more money because on an hourly rate, you're stuck on, okay, this is going to take one hour, this is what I can charge. But on a flat rate, you can say, well, it's going to cost this much. And if I finish it in two hours, or 10 hours, then I'll make this much. But if I finish it in, in uh, you know, three hours, I'll still get the same amount of money. So I've gone to a flat rate. And just to keep in mind that regardless if you're going hourly rate or flat rate, uh, and remember, the flat rate, you still have an ideal hourly rate that you're trying to hit. You just have more cushion and, and sway to kind of to kind of get those numbers. Um, but remember, you, if you're, you know, like me, a mobile detailer, you still got to include the distance that you're driving to the customer's location. The distance, the gas, if you need, you know, the, the other costs like the tires, oil change, oil filter, uh, whatever needs upkeep uh, is a cost. And then if you have a shop, obviously an overhead, sort of like your, uh, you know, lights, electricity, uh, same thing. Uh, water, whatever it may be, you got to add that. Then your supplies, so the actual detailed products that you use, if it's like cleaners, uh, it's not going to be much, but again, you, you should uh, take in consideration uh, all these uh, small, tedious things. And then, of course, Uncle Sam still needs his cut because he doesn't like to work, so uh, you do need to um, consider about taxes. And if you, and you can, there's going to be a lot more things that you need to take into consideration. So, you know, if, you, if you're saying, oh, okay, if I make, uh, you know, if I complete this detail in four hours, I'm going to make $25 an hour. That's really great. But, you know, as considering all these costs, you're not really genuinely making in your pocket $25 an hour. But again, it might be, you know, $15 an hour that you're actually making or 12 bucks an hour that you're actually making. It's going to depend on a bunch of other variables. Um, but again, this is my structure. I go flat rate. Uh, when you're starting off, it should be good to just, um, every car that you get, jot down the type of car, the type of service and its condition. And over, once you get five, seven, ten cars in, you can see, okay, I started at six hours. I've, through every detail that I, that I go through, I kind of systemize my process a bit more. I kind of uh, streamline how I do the details. So now I started at six hours for a, you know, uh, uh, 2004 Super WRX, which is a sedan. And then now uh, for, uh, you know, a Honda Civic sedan, which is, you know, about the same as, as a, a, a WRX sedan. Uh, I can now probably finish it within uh, three and a half hours, which I personally, when I first started doing interiors, uh, or pretty much anything, but I'll give the example of interior. Uh, a full interior cleaning on a, uh, let's just say a sedan, will take me about five to six hours. Now it can take me anywhere between uh, three to, uh, to four hours to complete a full interior cleaning. And that's top to bottom, back to front, uh, cleaning every bit of interior. So uh, 
having a systemized uh, detail uh, in terms of how you're gonna approach it is very, very crucial uh, for your efficiency and to make uh, good money. Um, so again, I go with the flat rate, oh, excuse me. Uh, I go with the flat rate. Uh, you can start off with the hourly, which you should, just so you can get the gist of things. And then hopefully you can move on to flat rate where you can make more money on the same one as time that you've been doing, even on the flat rate. So hope this video helps. Uh, click the link below. Um, there's gonna be a bunch of, uh, uh, you can download the, the link below so you can just get all this information in a PDF so you don't have to uh, watch the video again. You can just reference that PDF and uh, you can just, whenever you're gonna set your prices, you can just uh, take a look at that PDF. But other than that, uh, like this video, give us a comment. Uh, you can you know tell us how much you like it or hate it. Uh, so then subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you on the next video.